60 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs had just ended. The Earth was hot, humid, and bursting with life. Endless forests stretched across the land. Great rivers wound through the jungle, home to giant turtles and powerful crocodiles. But in the shadow of these waters, an even greater predator waited. Silent, powerful, ancient. This was Titanoboa. But what if this ancient giant appeared in our world today? But predator from the past, reborn in the present. Welcome to What If Flicks, the place where imagination meets reality. Today, we uncover the story of Titanoboa and explore what could happen if it ruled our waters once again. Titanoboa was not just the largest snake ever discovered. It was one of the most powerful predators in Earth's history. It lived around 60 million years ago in what is now northern South America. This snake could grow over 12 meters in length and weigh more than a ton. Its thick, muscular body allowed it to glide silently through rivers, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Unlike many snakes today, Titanoboa didn't rely on venom. It used pure strength, wrapping its massive coils around its prey until the struggle ended. It hunted in a world filled with giant turtles, massive fish, and ancient crocodiles, and nothing in those waters could challenge its rule. Now, imagine if Titanoboa was alive right now. Its ideal home would be in the world's hottest, wettest regions, places like the Amazon rainforest, the Congo River, or the swamps of Southeast Asia. In these waters, it would once again become the apex predator. Crocodiles, caimans, large fish, all would be potential prey. But in today's world, Titanoboa wouldn't just be sharing rivers with wildlife, it would be sharing them with us. One confirmed sighting, and the world would explode with headlines. Scientists would drop everything to reach the site, carrying drones, sonar equipment, and high-speed cameras. They would be desperate to record the first living Titanoboa in 60 million years. The goal wouldn't just be to see it, but to understand it. Fossils discovered in 2009 told us Titanoboa's true scale, over 12 meters long, weighing more than a ton. From its bones, we learned it lived in extreme heat and humidity, a climate it could still find today in the Amazon or Congo. To capture it alive? Almost impossible. Even modern anacondas, a fraction of Titanoboa's size, can vanish into murky water without a sound. This ancient giant would be a master of disappearing. Governments might close off entire river systems. Military patrols could guard villages. And for people living near the water, every ripple would carry a question. Is it here? If Titanoboa returned, nature itself would feel the shift. In the rivers, crocodiles and caimans would no longer be at the top of the food chain. Large fish species could vanish in some areas, their populations crushed under the weight of a new apex predator. And for humans, life near the water would change forever. Fishing trips would require armed escorts. Boats would travel in groups. Children would be warned never to play near the banks. Scientists believe Titanoboa preferred warm waters, around 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, meaning climate change could actually help it expand its territory if it ever returned. From South America to Southeast Asia, any river deep enough could become its hunting ground. The return of Titanoboa would be more than just the discovery of a giant snake. It would be proof that Earth still holds secrets capable of rewriting history. For millions of years, this ancient giant ruled its rivers without challenge. If it came back today, it would remind us of a truth we often forget. We are not always at the top of the food chain. The question is, could we live alongside a predator from the past? Or would we try to destroy it before it destroyed us? One thing is certain, 
the shadow of Titanoboa would forever change the way we see our rivers. This is What If Flicks, where imagination meets reality. Subscribe for more journeys into the past, future, and beyond.